Florida's ban on vaccine passports went into effect today. The state plans to fine businesses and local governments that require proof of vaccination. Here's a question, though. Who's going to enforce this? We sent News 6's Troy Campbell to find out. When Governor DeSantis signed his executive order last April, it prevented businesses from requiring vaccines for customers. With that law now in effect, we spoke with our political expert who says the governor is now likely to take aim at counties like Orange County for requiring a vaccine as a condition of employment. Uh, you cannot require them to show proof of a vaccine. New Six political expert Jim Clark saying he expects the governor's office to file suit against at least one local government in Florida requiring vaccines as a condition of employment in the upcoming days. Clark says Governor Ron DeSantis has already lost in court, telling Cruises they weren't allowed to require vaccines for passengers. So it has been challenged successfully so far by the cruise industry, led by Norwegian Cruises and followed by the other major cruise lines. So for the moment, the courts have said, no, you cannot do this to Governor DeSantis. Clark says the Florida Department of Health is tasked with carrying out any fines against violators laid out in the governor's executive order. And the question is, will they be overwhelmed? Will they have to call in other agencies such as the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, the Attorney General's office, local police? Florida Attorney General Ashley Moody saying her office, alongside 23 other states, have issued a letter to the Biden administration warning of possible litigation if the federal government follows through with its plans to require employers to mandate vaccines as a condition of employment. What's not appropriate under Florida law is to fire somebody based on uh, on this issue. Uh, we got to protect people's jobs. We got to protect people's livelihoods. Clark also adds if Governor DeSantis is successful in the courts fining local governments for requiring vaccines as a condition of employment, it could help bolster his political career. We've asked Orange County if they are planning on taking any legal action in anticipation after Governor DeSantis's threats earlier this week. We plan to get an update from them on Friday. In Orange County, Troy Campbell getting results, News 6.